Joining me now are Jian Weijong of the University of Hamburg and Wolfram Burgard of the University of Nuremberg to talk about the use of AI in robotics. Thank you both for joining us. You're doing a keynote this week. AI in robotics is something that you both specialize in, but if I can start with you, how have we seen the integration of AI in robotics um, in terms of transforming the field? Integration of artificial intelligence in robotics has been continuous a uh, topic for arrows from the beginning. But recently, the emergency of general intelligence method based on foundation model gave more hopes uh, for a better integration of AI for autonomy and decision making. And Wolfram, how have you seen it change the field in terms of autonomy and decision making? Because there's been some big leaps. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, particularly the generative AI has been a major step uh, in the field. So we are seeing right now new functionality that we couldn't uh, realize like a few years ago. So in parts of perception, understanding, and semantics. So it's, we have become way better in interacting with humans, for example. But this is only one part of uh, the story. The other one is also the hardware development side. And we have seen major progress in the past years. And how else can AI improve the efficiency in terms of industries like healthcare, agriculture? What ways can we see those improvements? So to create a better learning capability for robotics in the term of efficiency and adaptability is a very interesting topic in currently. For example, in agriculture, and you can let the robot learn uh, during the uh, harvesting and uh, using the uh, audiovisual and tactile information to teach the robot if you have uh, enough uh, big quality, good quality data and then robot can learn and generate uh, for the uh, skills in the unstructured world. And Wolfram, what about healthcare? Because that's another area where we're seeing huge advancements. Wherever we have this interplay between humans and, and robots, we actually need to have a better capabilities of these platforms in terms of understanding what is actually the intent of the user, what is the need of the user. I think there is also some advancement that we can hope getting from these generative AI models, right, so that the, the robots are basically better able to understand what the specific needs of the patients are. And in terms of reliability, um, what are some of the other limitations you can see in terms of AI robotics at the moment or, or even in the near future? I think uh, using end-to-end -end learning, so based on a lot of data, is a, a promising way to realize the general intelligence, but there are a lot of challenges and how to create a, a very uh, important vertical application, good data, to let the robot learn. Uh, also uh, very important and interesting for the, for the future. I mean, I completely agree as well. I think that the challenge is where we actually want to bring robots closer to humans. Even when you look at autom automated driving, it's kind of like an automation process. Right? So there's not much interaction with the user. But if you think about a robot in your household, you actually want it also being able to explain what it is doing and why it is doing what it is doing. And then you also want to basically have an interaction with them and explain your thoughts on how things should be done. And the robot should be flexible to the, that. And that's another challenge where we actually need to put a lot of emphasis on in, in the near future. A really insightful conversation. Thank you both for your time. You're welcome. Thank you. Our pleasure.